I'm going to take this picture, overlay the ocean, add a preset, then add film texture. I could have added in a bunch of birds in the background, but I just like the one bird in the sky. This is a before and after side by side, and now it's time for the actual Photoshop process of this photo I created yesterday at Sunset Beach. The first step is to go to Image, Canvas Size, and make the picture into a perfect square by extending the height to match the width. And then I'm going to use a lasso selection tool to create a selection from a different picture so I can Photoshop on a different arm onto the main photograph. And the next step is just to use a spot healing brush tool to erase away my remote that I used to take the picture. And then I'm going to use a brush tool to blur the lines of the empty space and the photo. And the next step is to bring a different picture of the ocean line onto the main picture, reduce the transparency of the layer so I know where I want to place the layer. Then I'm going to bring back the transparency, create my layer mask by hitting the little circle within the square at the bottom. And then I'm going to use curves to brighten up the layer so it matches in with the entire photo. And that's always important with compositing, it's just to basically match up the tones and the lighting of all your different layers so it just looks like one photo. And then with my layer mask, I'm using a paintbrush tool on the layer of the ocean with black paint over white paint to erase away at the excess part of the picture that we don't want in the main picture. And I'm using a hard paintbrush, a small hard paintbrush, close to the waterline. And same with my hand. I'm just bringing back my hand now. And now I just switched to white paint over black paint, which means we're painting back in. And I'm basically just painting back in the ocean line around my hand. This is another ocean picture that I'm going to copy and paste using the lasso selection tool onto the main photo. And I'm going to reduce the transparency again of the layer so I know where to place it. I just kind of want that little detail of, you know, the water in the background. I feel like I didn't really get that depth of the water in the background. So I'm just using a different picture. And then I'm using curves to brighten up the layer just like with the first ocean layer. And just like with the other layer, I create my layer mask, then paint away at the excess part of the picture, then switch to white paint over black paint to paint back in. And I'm using a semi-hard brush, and then I'll use a larger soft brush so I can blend in the lines even better. And I'm just painting in around my body. In a minute, I'm going to use a couple water brushes to make it look more realistic. Real quick, I'm just clicking the layers on and off of what I have just edited so far. And the composite's pretty much in place. I'm just going to copy and paste a different vape pen from a different picture onto the main photo just so it shows up a little bit better because it wasn't as visible before. And then I'm going to use water brushes with um, white colored paint. And I'm just going to brush on those water brushes onto the main picture using layer number one, a different layer. And then I create my layer mask on layer one and erase away at the excess part of the brush that I don't want in the photo. And you can just download water brushes for free from the internet, just Google it. Then I'm bringing on a different picture I took of a bird. I think it was like the last picture I took that day. And now I'm using Cvotic presets, my new obsession that I use in Lightroom. I believe the preset was Cvotic 5. And then I'm using the dodge tool to brighten up my body and my face just so I'm a little bit more illuminated and it looks a little bit more painterly and I'm just clicking the layer of the dodge tool on and off and then I'm using the white selective color adjustment layer to add more cyan to the white colors for a dreamy look that's the before and after of the selective color adjustment layer and the last step is to bring on some film texture onto the main picture I'm going to use two different film textures and I'm going to use the color dodge blending mode which is my favorite blending mode for this kind of Film look, it just basically erases the black colors and keeps the white colors of the film texture. And I paid $10 from these film textures. You can purchase them online or create them yourself. This is the final image. It kind of reminds me, if you guys know of the photographer Anka Zorovleva, just her color toning. And anyone who's followed me for years know that my color style used to be different. I kind of used to use like heavy colors, like saturated colors, very blue colors. And this is just soft sort of a subtle kind of blue and I like that look a lot better it's just dreamy I want to try this concept again but like from different angles like a bird's eye view kind of pointing down at the beach and maybe wearing the ocean as a dress or even as a blanket again with a pillow I don't know we'll see I definitely want to try it again but thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to my channel 
and I'll see you guys later for the next video.